Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video. In this video I will be demonstrating how to install mechanization in Minecraft 1.13. So the first thing I'll have to do of course is download mechanization. I will have a link to this web page in the description of the video. Once here, locate the latest version for Minecraft 1.13 and go ahead and download that file. In addition to that, you will also need the resource pack. There is a link here you can click on and this will take you to the resource pack page. Then go ahead and download that file. Now this is the basic resource pack, but there is also a 32-bit version you can install as well. I personally like 32-bit textures, so I will demonstrate how to install that, but not everybody does and that's fine. Once here, go ahead and download the 32-bit textures as well. You will need both resource packs. Now that you have those files downloaded, they should be, go ahead and locate them, they should be in your downloads folder. Then boot up Minecraft. Make sure you're using the latest version of 1.13, be that a snapshot or a full release. Now that we have Minecraft booted up, go to Options, Resource Packs, and Open Resource Pack folder. Go ahead and drop the Resource Pack, and if you have the 32-bit version, drop that in there as well. Close and reopen the Resource Pack menu then equip mechanization resources, and then the 32-bit version on top of the resources if you have the 32-bit version. Now that we have the resource pack installed, uh, go ahead to open single player menu. It is recommended to install mechanization into a new world, but technically you do not have to. Now I already have a world I want to install this into. So once you have a world, go ahead and select it, click edit, then Click Open World Folder. Once here, take the Data Pack folder you, file you downloaded, drop that in the Data Packs folder of the Minecraft world. Then go ahead and load the world. Once you're in the world, go ahead and type slash reload. You should get an installation message, and once you have that installation message, you are good to go. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped. 